Hey all you Minnesota Skinnies, this is Conman101 and welcome to another sports talk video. This is going to be a lot of sports talk and I'm going to get through a lot of topics quickly. So I apologize if I don't really analyze things as well as I did the first time. But this is over three weeks, you know the three weeks that I was pretty much absent from YouTube. Again, really sorry about that, but this is going to be like a huge overview of everything that's happened in sports at least the major sports for the last three weeks. So I'm I'm going to speed through a lot of things. So if I don't analyze things and break them down very well, that's why. Because if I tried to analyze everything, this would be like a 30 minute video. So just keep that in mind. Basically all I'm gonna be talking about with the NFL is just players from one team moving to another team. And this is actually uh, tying into the Vikings as well because the first one is Latavius Murray from the Raiders went to Minnesota, actually, because, I mean, at this point, I don't think we actually got an official word that Adrian Peterson was gone, but considering they got Latavius Murray, that's pretty much a done deal, but Latavius Murray is actually number 28, and they're they're obviously going to change that out of respect for AP. I, I, there's no doubt in my mind that Minnesota is going to retire that number. I'm really excited to have Latavius Murray because he just brings a lot to the table. He He kind of got the shaft with the Raiders because he couldn't play to his potential. He had like three different running backs that all did as well as him because the Raiders offensive line was so bad. I mean so good, sorry. He should do a lot better than our running backs, the Vikings running backs, because Latavius Murray I feel like can do well without the help of a really good offensive line. So with the shaky offensive line I think we really needed him. Some more notable moves, Eddie Lacy from the Packers moved to the Seahawks, um, Brandon Cooks for the Saints moved to the Patriots, that'll be exciting to see how Brandon Cooks can use his speed and bring that to the table, um, Martellus Bennett to the Packers, I'm not sure where that leaves Jared Cook, Osweiler moved to the Browns, Brock Osweiler, he was with the Texans, um, but whenever you get traded to the Browns, you know you've, you're, you're really bad. I think Osweiler has a lot of potential, but he isn't really able to bring that out. That's weird. I got breaking news on my phone with a notification right as I was doing this. So as we speak, the Raiders just closed the deal on the Las Vegas Stadium. So the Raiders are moving to Las Vegas officially. So uh, that'll be exciting. But anyway, back to what I was talking about, Osweiler. He didn't really have a lot of good wide receivers in the Texans besides Hopkins. So... I don't know. That there's a couple of a pretty good players going to the Browns uh, later in this uh, later in this segment, but I, I think that Osweiler will do a lot better. Well, at, at least the at least the Browns have some sort of cushion, some sort of good player. At least now the Browns have like a semi good quarterback cuz i mean they need something they need something to build their franchise on a very notable trade is Elshon Jeffrey moved to the Eagles and i'm i'm really happy about this one because Elshon Jeffrey was just really undervalued for, with the Bears because you can't do well when there's no quarterback so i think it was good that Elshon Jeffrey moved to uh, Carson Wentz as a quarterback because he was getting nothing done with the the Bears and i think that he'll kickstart his career again, and then uh, finish his career out with the Eagles because he's going to do a lot of better things with the Eagles. So Deshaun Jackson moved to the Buccaneers. This is notable because Jameis Winston was hoping that there would be like a speedster like him that would move to the team, so it would be exciting to see how the Buccaneers can get some good deep throws to Deshaun Jackson with this. Pierre Garçon from the, the Redskins moved to the 49ers. Nothing really to say there because 49ers just are bad. Ted Ginn to the Saints. That'll be exciting to see because uh, uh, Cooks went to the Patriots. Ted Ginn has that, you know, speedster kind of uh, mentality to him too. So that should make up for the absence of Brandon Cooks. Brandon Mar Marshall to the Giants. I think Brandon Marshall is just going to kind of slow down and eventually retire because now he's going to be outshined by Odell Beckham. He's going to get some other injury, and his career is going to be over. That's just my opinion. Julius Thomas to the Dolphins. He's a tight end. Um, so that, wait, no, sorry. He's a defensive end. 
so I don't really I don't really know much about the defensive side of it. But Michael Hyde also went to the Bills. Again, he's from the Packers, but I don't really know very much about the defensive side, so that's all I have to say about that. But that's pretty much it for the NFL, so let's go over to the NHL. So there were some standing changes, there were some flops. The Sharks and the Wild both had some very bad slides, and the Wild are still sliding. You know, this is what I was talking about, like with the Minnesota slide. It happens every year. It the, the a Minnesota team just cannot do well all year. It's not natural. I mean, I knew this was going to happen eventually. Now the Wild are just going to get knocked out the first round, and I mean, it's disappointing, but. As a Minnesota fan, you just kind of learn to deal with this kind of disappointment, so I'm not really that shaken up about it. But as for the top standings, the uh, the Capitals, uh, the Blue Jackets, and then the, the Penguins and the Blackhawks all make up the top four. Dang Blackhawks. Every year they get ahead of us. So the Blackhawks are going to beat us if no other team does. That is my prediction. I mean, there's really nothing you can do about that. So let's get off to the MLB and the end of the spring training season. And April 3rd, I think, is opening day. Well, that's the opening day for the Twins. There might be, like, April 1st or 2nd um, for the opening day for the whole league. But that'll be exciting to get that kicked off. I feel like the Twins are going to be better this year. Um, they might not make the playoffs, but I think I think they're going to build a, a franchise and, and keep it rolling. And I say they're going to win a World Series within 10 years. I mean, it's a long time for, to make predictions, but I think that they're going to gradually, over time, make their way up to that top spot, and they will eventually win that, that World Series, the third one. Um, but, I mean, we need to bring something to Minnesota again. Let's see, two championships. We've gotten two championships for all four core Minnesota teams total. Like, out of all the history of the Minnesota teams, only two times have we won a championship. Obviously, this isn't counting the Minneapolis Lakers because all those championships went to the Los Angeles Lakers. So, you know, you, you take what you can get. But I don't think there are very many notable things that happened in the MLB. Um, there, There's a lot of injuries that are just a few days, you know, day-to-day -day injuries. There will be a lot more news for the MLB once the season kicks off. I'll have a lot more news for that when that happens, but that's pretty much it for now for the MLB. So now we go to the NBA, and this is where things get a little interesting because I'm going to be talking about the whole of sitting the players. Um, if you guys don't know about this, um, the Cavaliers and actually a few other teams have been sitting pretty much their whole starting roster, the teams that they think will for sure make the playoffs, and the Cavaliers are pretty confident they have that top spot, they have that locked down, and I think this is very disrespectful to the fans, because the fans have traveled for from far and wide to watch these teams play, like, there are kids in the stands that are I mean, LeBron James is their hero, and they they are going to that game to see LeBron James, and they don't give warning beforehand that he's not going to be there, and then that kid is disappointed by that. And I think it's so disrespectful to the fans that these teams would... I mean, I know you want to take away injuries, but put them in the game. I mean, I get it, I get it if you don't play them all game. Like, even NFL teams at the end of games, like at the very end of the season, they'll sit out, out their players, but put the put the players in. I mean, seriously, you, you have to do that for the fans. Like, even if you want to limit injuries, what's a few more minutes of playing just to make a kid happy in the, in the stands? I, I, I'm totally against the sitting the players thing. Even though I, I get what they're trying to do, I, I just think it's a terrible, terrible idea. One more thing for basketball is actually college basketball. So the Final Four is happening starting next Saturday, and I'm super pumped about that. So there are some notable upsets, like South Carolina has defeated, how, what have they gone through? They've gone through Marquette, and then they've gone through Duke, and now they just went through Baylor. And then, after that, they beat Florida. 
So they beat a 10 seed, and then they beat a 2, 3, and 4 seed to make it to the Final Four. That's crazy. I mean, they're probably going to lose to Gonzaga. But my predictions are Gonzaga and North Carolina will play in the championship. And I have Gonzaga in my bracket winning the whole thing. Although, as much as I hate to admit it, I think that my prediction would be that North Carolina will beat Gonzaga and they'll avenge their their um, disappointment last year when Villanova beat them. Um, I'm, I'm rooting for Gonzaga all the way through because, again, in my, my bracket I have with my friends, I have Gonzaga winning. And if Gonzaga wins, I win the whole thing. But, you know, my prediction would have to be North Carolina winning. They've got some super powerhouses in their offense. They have the ability to get around those big Gonzaga guys. So that's my prediction. North Carolina will beat Gonzaga in the national championship. But make sure you watch the final four. We've got Gonzaga play, playing uh, South Carolina. And then we also have North Carolina playing Oregon. So two very exciting games. Make sure you check those out. But anyway, that does it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. So it's during spring break now. So I'm going to be like making a whole bunch of videos. Obviously, I'm going to have to be making a video on Monday right before I leave for Colorado um, about sports because, you know, it's all up-to-date stuff. So I'll be making a video about everything that's happened over this next upcoming week um, for Monday, but then I'm going to be making a whole bunch of pre-recorded videos that I'll be able to upload on Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Uh, and I might even make one for Monday, too, because I'll be really tired. Uh, and I'll have to have a lot of makeup work to do, so... I'll make as many uh, makeup videos as I can, but I'm, I'm sorry that I won't be able to upload gaming videos because I have to upload gaming videos from the uh, editing app I have through PlayStation, and I can't do that from my phone. And I'm going to be uploading all my videos from my phone during the trip, so that's why I won't be able to make gaming videos. Very sorry about that, but I'm going to be making some challenge videos, you know, just fun videos throughout the week. So I'm sorry that I won't be able to make vlogs on the trip, but make sure you follow my Instagram. It's in the description below, but it's also underscore conman101, uh, and the C is not capitalized. And though I'll have some pictures on my Instagram about the trip. I'll also maybe make a picture montage to put on the channel about the trip. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you on the flip side.